What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is starting to get colder up here in the Northeast. Two mornings ago, it was 57 degrees in the morning, and that's pretty chilly. The good thing about the fall and the winter is I get to carry uh, sweatpants and sweatshirts and carry a bigger gun. It's always a lot easier in the fall to do that. So we have a bunch on the table right here of concealed carry shorts and sweatpants from Arrowhead Tactical. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Most of the video is going to be spent on their newer joggers, their newer tight fitting joggers. But in the past, I have reviewed their sweatpants, loose fitting, uh, typical sweatpants, very premium material, very comfy wear those all the time. The basketball shorts, again, premium material, very, very nice. Everything just, you know, has a belt on the inside and that's what makes them conceal carry shorts and sweatpants. Use that quite a bit, not as much as the sweatpants, but I have used that quite a bit. The thing I've used the most from them is gonna be their sweatshirts. I have a black and an OD green one. The OD green one lives in my Bronco and they have a pouch in the front, a quick access pouch to uh, get to your firearm. And I have used those more than anything else on this table combined. But let's get right into the joggers because today's video is about the newer, tighter fitting joggers. All right, let's start with the colors. You can get them in black, gray, and OD green. Those are the color choices, but they have two different styles as well. Um, there's another one that are blue sweatpants with a white stripe and red sweatpants with a black stripe. Now, as far as sizes, you can go from small to 3X and on the Arrowhead Tactical website, they do have a very nice sizing chart to help you pick what size works for you. If you care, I am five foot 11. I weigh around 180 pounds. My waist is 33, 34-ish, depending how much ice cream I eat in a particular week. And the joggers I have a size large, and I don't know about you, but I think they fit perfect if you're looking for a tighter fit pair of joggers. Now, before we get into the pockets and all the other cool fitment material, we do have a quick sponsor of the video and it's Neomag. I actually work for Neomag if you don't know, but we sell a lot of really cool concealed carry gear and being this is concealed carry clothing, they match up and work together. The first thing I wanna call out is a spare magazine carrier. It's a magnet, clicks to the magazine, uh, then it clicks in, uh, clips into your pocket so you can safely carry a spare magazine out of sight, but it's there when you need it and that is probably my favorite product of ours. We also have an uh, alias system. The alias system is a very modular holster attachment system. Short version is you replace the clip on the holster, you buy the different receivers you want. For example, we have belt mount receivers and magnets, hard mount that you screw in, Velcro, Molly, whatever, and it allows you to you know, put your, click your gun into the receiver on your belt, then click the one that's magnetic and hard mount, and it's very modular, very, very cool system. There's a link down in the video description if you want to check anything out from Neomag. We have some rifle accessories as well. Very well thought out stuff if you want to go check it out. All right, the material, back to the joggers obviously. The material is a nice cotton. They're very, very soft. I wish you could come through and feel them. Uh, and they all feel like very, very premium material. It doesn't feel like cheesy Walmart, whatever brand stuff. The knees feel reinforced on the website said that it's a polyester knee paneling. Whatever that means, it's the knee seems very durable and I'm sure it's gonna help it last longer. I love, love the fit. If you want joggers, you want something that's a little bit tighter, um, something that's tapered leg, the elastic on the cuff uh, on the bottom, it's just, they did a great, great job with the way it fits and looks, if you want that look. If not, they still have the looser fitting joggers. The things I like about the, the tighter joggers, you know, I can pull one knee up and pretend like I'm a teenager back in the 90s and, don't, don't, don't do that. I'm just kidding. That's not a good look. Don't, <laughs> let's not bring that back. Anyway, the pockets. You have two pockets in the front. Very, very large, standard, you know, throw your wallet, throw your keys in there, whatever you want. There's a small pocket next to the rear pockets that I didn't even notice at first. Uh, but it's good if you want to put uh, a knife in there, a small flashlight. If you have a small car key, that may fit in well. And that, they, they call it a utility pocket. There's one on each side of the rear pockets if you want to use that. Now the rear pockets themselves have a little sneaky uh, surprise inside there. They have YKK zippers, so the zippers are very, very smooth. It's a good size rear pocket. And then sewn into the fabric is a spare magazine holder, and I thought that was pretty good. It's gonna fit most nine millimeter double stack magazines. If you go any bigger than that, in my experience, a 40, a 45, a 10 millimeter double stack is not going to fit. I put, 
Um, I squeezed a Glock 9mm double stack magazine in there. That was a little tight. SIG P365, SIG X5 Legion, anything like that should fit no problem. When you get to a higher caliber, then you might have an issue. All right. Let's talk about the belt system because that is the most important part. The beauty of this system is how they incorporate the belts. So what they do is they sewn belt loops into the inside of the joggers, the inside of the fabric, and that's what holds your belt in place. Now the old belt was okay. It was good. Um, the only thing I didn't love about it was the clasp. After I used it a whole bunch, if you move a certain way, the clasp would come undone. And when you're carrying a gun, that is no bueno. This one is, uh, this cl uh, closure system is much lighter. Um, I like it a lot better. It's much easier to adjust the size of it. And it hasn't come undone on me. It has a quick detach mechanism. I don't know what they call it, but I like it. It hasn't come undone. It's less clunky and they did a great job uh, upgrading the belt. Now your price is going to be $100 for these joggers if you want the belt or $88 without the belt. And I don't think that's a bad deal for a pair of premium sweatpants with the belt. 100 bucks isn't bad. I did try different belts in here. If you have a very, very slim belt, for example, the Neomag, we're coming out with a new belt. I hope I can say this at this point. Maybe I'm spilling the beans here, but we're coming out with a new concealed carry belt and I did try our new belt in there and it did work fine, just so you know. All right, testing. Uh, first thing I did was put these on to check to make sure they fit well and the large size that went with good and they fit perfect. Second thing, I did some dry fire reps. I wanted to make sure this new belt would hold my firearm in place before I went to the range. Then we went to the range and I brought it to the range, uh, I believe two different times. We started shooting off some smaller guns like a micro compact. It was a CR920 from Shadow Systems. I carry that often and that was no sweat. I also shot a small 22 while I was at the range. Next, I went up to a Glock 19 size gun, a compact size gun. It was actually a PSA dagger. No issues there. For fun, I went to a Glock 17, which is a full size gun, which is a little harder. And I think the belt system did okay. It's a big gun. Most people are going to carry a gun appendix, that a gun that size appendix every day, but it was okay. Then to be silly, I tried an enormous Glock Model 40. It is a long slide, double stack, 10 millimeter. That gun is miserable to carry appendix in any belt, in any pants. It's a very big, heavy gun. But the system did pretty good um, carrying and supporting the weight of that gun. Uh, the other thing I did with these being the joggers and sweatpants, with all of them I tried doing some basic exercise and running. Like we went on bike rides, we went on walks, Anything like that is fine. I wouldn't recommend them when you're doing CrossFit and cartwheels, probably not the best idea, but any light exercising, absolutely no problem. As long as you have a good holster with good retention, that will not be an issue. Alrighty, let's move on to the pros. They nailed the fit, the fit, the finish, the way uh, the tapered leg is. It's not too tight, doesn't look bad like <laughs> skinny jeans that are too tight. They did a great job with the fit. Uh, the material they're made out of, they're soft, they're comfy. Uh, I wear the, uh, the, the bigger sweatpants around the house all of the time. They nailed the fit. I think the pockets are dope as well. The side little utility pocket is cool. The magazine pouch in the rear pocket is cool, is very cool. The front po pockets are very large, good size to fit all your stuff and all your things. But my favorite thing is gonna be the upgrade they made on the belt. The belt is significantly nicer. It's higher quality, it's not as clunky. It comes on and off a lot easier. And uh, yeah, my favorite thing is gonna be the belt. As far as cons, I don't really have a con. Now on the sweatshirts, the one thing I want to call out is this black one is one of their first gens early, early, early when they came out. And after I've washed it like a hundred times, if you look close, it has all these little fuzzies on it. And I don't know if that's from the dryer or from the sweatshirt. I, I have no idea. Uh, the green one I have of this has been washed just as much and it does not have those fuzzies. So I think it was just an early issue on an early sweatshirt. I don't think it's a big deal, but I always like to mention it and be honest and let you guys know. Overall, if you like carrying basketball shorts, sweatpants, joggers, anything like that, sweatshirts where you can access your pistol, Arrowhead Tactical has the concealed carry market clothing type uh, uh, area for concealed carry lockdown. They do a very, very good job. I definitely like them, definitely recommend them. Again, there is that affiliate link down in the video description. So if you wanna pick anything up, please hook me up, use that affiliate link. And I greatly appreciate it. Sponsor of the video again is Neomag. We have a lot of very, very cool concealed carry type gear, some rifle gear as well. Check it out. 
very, very interesting stuff. All right, that's all I got for you today. I'm not going to go on and on and chill. I'm going to stop talking maybe. Most important though, I do want to thank you for watching, especially if you made it to the end of the video. That is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, please like and comment. Definitely helps me out. More than anything else, subscribe to the video again. If you think I deserve it, subscribe, enable the bell notification. That stuff really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Santa says he's going to bring you a new pair of their joggers because they look awesome. I'll see you later. Peace.